What is up, tubers? This is Superdale here with another video. This is an update to the Android 11 um, on the NVIDIA Shield. I did a couple videos on it, and we have ran into a lot of problems. So I'm hoping this will kind of help you along the way to fix some issues. Um, I've I definitely been, you know, um, checking this out myself but i want to go into this article let's get right into it it says um android 11 is causing a plethora of issues on nvidia shield tvs so again it's been a lot of issues from plex to different media players not playing applications crashing everything guys it's been a lot and so it's been a lot of issues right here but let's go down and read this article it says nvidia recently started rolling out the android 11 updates to a shield tvs jumping straight from android 9 um, to 11 as you know but unfortunately the new version is breaking things for many users affected users are reporting issues like apps failing to access the internal storage plex servers disappearing and more now in the second paragraph it says according to nvidia the former issue is caused by android 11's new per use file permissions settings all right so we're gonna go through this and i'm gonna try to demonstrate it i, I did a little bit of it um on my shield but i'm gonna show you what you have to do and hopefully this will fix your issue but it says the company has laid out a fix for this on an official support page so this support page is right here i will show you that as well but on the support page it says android 11 secludes a new permission system to allow file access to apps many apps have not yet adopted to the new system so a lot of these issues could be caused on the developers of that app who who have not updated on their end that could be causing a major problem to allow file permission manually for these apps go to settings apps whatever application you're using right here so whatever app you're using go to go to permissions and enable files and media access for the apps if you see permission option to allow while using this app and allow all the time select allow all the time now this is what i didn't see i didn't see allow all the time when i did mine all right let's go further though it says however um some affected shield tvs and um shield tv pro users say allow all the time option is not available for them but this should anyways fix issues like vlc player not finding any media files or anything of that sort android 11 is causing more issues to shield tv file management system according to this website right here i'm not going to even try to pronounce that but when i put this article in the description you can just click on this and it will take you to the website and it said which compile user complaints on various online forums plex servers have disappeared entirely for many users the plex app setting page does doesn't show any options for their server um so i'm gonna go into plex and you know and, and show you that for some the plex server is still there but doesn't support hdr 10 resulting in poor image quality um traditional troubleshooting methods like restarting device don't help fix either issues uh, thankfully the plex team is aware of this problem and is investigating it they are asking for more feedback so you can put it click on this right here and from affected users moving the data folder to an external location such as an sd card or usb drive is likely causing a problem a fix should arrive soon and so you can read more about this um basically it just uh you know just basically it's more issues <laughs> right? it says show tv users are experiencing various other issues following the android 11 update the new version is reportedly breaking the integration between android tv and home assistant the hdmi cec is broken as well i did hear that as well Additional users are reporting issues like the screen randomly going black. Remember when I told y'all that upstairs? The upstairs, it just went black and stayed black for like a while. I can I don't even remember. You have to go back and look at that video. The very first one that I did. Um, broken frame rates, 
Bluetooth automatically getting disconnected, being a unable to see previous files and folders shield waking up randomly shield tv remote turning on the device itself but not the tv being unable to create new network map folders on the shield and many more there are way too many software issues <laughs> that inf nvidia has let slip through and to the stable android 11 built for shield tvs hopefully the company will release a hot fix soon meanwhile if you haven't installed a new update yet you might want to hold off all right so remember i told y'all when i did my video i say look let me break mine before you break yours and uh some people went ahead and did it and some things happened um it said it will also be safer to disable all right, go in there and disable auto updates. We will let you know when the NVIDIA rolls out a fix. So there's a lot of things going on with the NVIDIA Shield on this update. But now let me show you, let me let me do this. Let me pause this and I'm gonna show you, uh, let me see, it might be right here. All right, it might be right here. No, it's not right there. All right, so let me, let me find this link and then we'll go from there. Hold up y'all. Okay, guys, on the screen right now, all right? This is supposedly the temporary fix, all right? This is the fix, and you see it says right here, excuse me, just a second. It says Android 11 includes a new permission system to allow files, um, to allow file access to apps. Many apps have not yet adopted the new system to allow file permission manually for those apps go to settings so the first thing you want to do is go to settings and then you want to go to apps then you want to select your app and then you want to hit permission so we're going to go through these steps and then we're going to enable some things all right some things that may be turned off on here all right and then they said if you see permissions options to allow while using this app select it and also guys right here allow all the time select that but i didn't see that so i'm getting ready to set up my nvidia shield guys i'm just attempting to fix this um i would try everything so you again i will leave this link in the description as well so both both of the these um, links will be in the description and then we're going to go from there. So let's jump over to the NVIDIA Shield. That way you can see me do it and then you can possibly do this for every app. All right. Every app you're going to have to attempt to do this. So let's jump over to the NVIDIA Shield right now. Give me a second, guys. Let me set up. All right, guys, I am back. I am back. Um. I am on the NVIDIA Shield. So basically what you wanna do, you wanna go up here to the settings right here, this little gear. So go all the way up and go across till you get over here. This is what you wanna select, okay? So select that. Next thing you wanna do, you wanna go down to apps, okay? Go down to apps, select that, all right? So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go down here to where it says apps permissions all right you should see this right up under permissions you should see apps permissions so let's go to that right there let's go and click apps permissions from there guys what you want to do is go and select files and media all right so let's go and select files and medias because remember that was part of the list okay files and media and now we see some some applications so right so let's do this i'm gonna open up uh race off all right oh i just open up the first one click that one and as you see it right here remember it says allow remember if it's not if it's on this one then you want to turn on allow also it says if you see allow all the time turn that on but we don't see allow all the time. So we want to make sure allow is turned on. And you just go down the list, all right? You just want to make sure allow is turned on. And you go down the list, app toy. You want to just make sure allow is turned on. 
and you just keep going from there. Nova player, right? You want to make sure allow only while using the app. You want to, you see the difference, right? Allow only while using this um, application. So you want to make sure this is turned on. Now, I have some other apps, guys, that I cannot display due to YouTube terms of services. So let me, I'm going to scroll all the way down because I found something that you, it may come to your use, right? Um, you may be able to use it. So let me pause this and let me go all the way to the bottom because I don't want no smoke with YouTube, all right? So let me pause this. So look what I found, guys. Look what I found. I see some applications that are part of not allowed, okay? And so I need to turn these on. I got three of them right here. You may have one or two that's in this category for not allowed. I checked my Plex Media server. It's, it's on allowed, all right? But now, if you go into Explore, check this out. It's on don't allow. I could say allow only while using the app or allow all the time. Remember, we, we saw that, right? It says select allow all the time. And so, and then you should get this notification here saying, hey, allow this app to access, modify, and delete files on your device or any connected storage. This app may cause files, uh, may access files without asking you. So it says turn that on. So we're going to turn that on. And then as you see it right there, so even if I go to this right here, only allow while using the app, you know, there it is. And again, if you do it all the time, it's already selected, you know, for allow, you just click that. All right, so let me, let me just pause the video just in case I come out of here and it goes into something I'm not supposed, that you're not, well, YouTube is not supposed to see. Hold up. All right, so it didn't. All right, so it came right out and you saw, uh, well, you didn't see it. Um, but I guess I could, uh, not, let me just go into I Am Player, all right? So let's go into here. And then it's on Don't Allow, so I'm gonna say Allow only while using this app. And once I turn it on, you are gonna see it drop from the list. So let me hit the Go Back button. And there it is right there. So you see how they're going up and that's that's just how it is doing it. So quick support. And so allow, I'm gonna turn that on. As you see it right here, it goes to the blue and then I'm gonna hit the back button. All right. Now, again, I'm gonna go up here and show you the Explorer app again. That way you see it on your own. And then we go from there. I just wanted to make sure I, I'm following the new YouTube terms of services. So hold up. Okay guys, so I what I did, I turned it off. I'm just making sure I'm not showing anything I'm not supposed to show. Um, so here, you got the Explorer app, so I'm gonna click on that. And again, you can, you can select allow all the time, allow only when using the app, but you know, you want to select this one. And again, you are gonna get this message, right? And what it's gonna do when I hit allow, it's just gonna make it disappear. And then when I go back, uh oh it didn't change up this time hold up all right and so let me just see something let me go back up here and then click allow all right and so when i come back out you see how it disappeared and that's how all your applications should act when you're doing this and so this may be a quick fix i don't know again um this will be posted in the description. Again, it, it tells you right here, Android 11 includes new permission system to allow file access to apps. Many apps have not yet adopted the new system. So again, some of the developers may be a little slow, which is causing all of these problems. Um, to allow file permission manually for those for these apps, go to settings, apps, file management, app permission, and enable. And then you can go to files and media access for the apps. If you see permission option to allow while using the app and allow all the time, select allow all the time. So if you don't have allow all the time, guys, just go on ahead and click the select the one that says allow while using this app. So. There you have it right there, guys. Um, 
I'm hoping this is this is a, a good fix and um, this works well for you. I don't know, but we we're going to find out. We're definitely going to find out. So hopefully this clears everything up. Um, I'm hoping that it works out for you. It's no guarantee, guys. Remember, every time they do a major update on the NVIDIA Shield, something's bound not to work correctly. But this is a start, right? This is a start. Follow them steps. Easy to follow. And just go through it and make sure all of your apps are on allow. Either allow all the time or select allow while using the application. Please let me know if this worked for you. If this works for you, a thumbs up the video, let me know, or leave something in the comments to say, hey, Dale, this didn't work for me. So, you know, uh, so check your Plex servers, um, check your Plex apps, all of that. Check all of your applications that you're using and just make sure on the permissions you hit and allowed while using this app or allow all the time. Just make sure you're using those. Um, again, I would love to hear your opinions and thoughts. And if this worked for you, I would love to hear it. That way, if someone runs across this video and they having the same problems, they can see it and they gonna go through the comments. So let me know, man, cause this has been a headache for everyone. Salute to everyone out there who support me. Um, again, I go live on Mondays and Fridays and I do dedicated videos. Again, I would love to hear from you. My system is up and working with the apps I'm using. I am good to go. The first day I got a black screens and all of that. So I, I went through it and, I, and everything is working on my end. So guys, the links will be in the description of both of those links where you can read the article yourself and I will have the link to the supposedly fix. Salute guys. Y'all be safe out there. This is Super Dale and I'm signing out this month. I will talk to y'all later. Peace guys.